Well, good day and hello. Hope that this video is finding you good health and good spirits. My question for the cards today, is the fix in with the Supreme Court when it comes to the Trump trials? I mean, they're doing this slow walk on the immunity question, which from what I've been able to read, a lot of legal scholars think that this is... They've bitten off more than they need to have. You know, this idea that they are to make a decision for eternity as opposed to ruling very narrowly on an issue, which is kind of out of keeping with how the Supreme Court normally does things. And of course, people have lots of reasons to be suspicious because the ethical violations of the Supreme Court are beginning to become stuff of legend. I mean, there are nine justices and Clarence Thomas, you know, up to his eyeballs with grift and lies. Samuel Alito, grift and lies. Neil Gorsuch, and we have his issues with his shady uh, real estate deals that went through and in Colorado, I believe. And we also have, you know, the monetization of the chief justice's position that the Roberts household is engaged in. Mrs. Roberts has made quite a bit of money offering uh, recruiting services to, to high-powered legal firms. And, you know, I think this is kind of good old-fashioned influence peddling and what influence is she peddling? Of course, her marriage to the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States. And of course, part of the problem is with the way that ranking members of the GOP have acted since the 34 convictions on Donald Trump has uh, kind of led some eyebrows to be raised. Um, Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, who should know better, man's a constitutional scholar, you know, talking about how he thinks the justices are concerned and that they should weigh in and, um, yeah. And we've got Trump, who's basically half begging, half scolding, that he wants the Supreme Court to step in on his behalf. And we've got other Republicans, like, all of a sudden, the party of law and order is against law or order being applied to anything that they do. And I don't know if that's them shooting their mouth off and, uh, you know, bragging about their influence and their pull and, you know, how much they're hooked in. Or is, is the fix actually in? That's really what my question is. So there's a lot that is uh, dodgy. And in particular, when you've got people like <clears throat> the Chief Justice refusing to meet with Senate Oversight Committees, Americans hold the U.S. Supreme Court in very low esteem. And... Quite frankly, the, the court has earned it. The court has earned it. So, it's hard for me to even say, you know, this whole idea is, is the fix in with the Supreme Court. To me, it's almost unimaginable. But here we are. Here we are. So, I want to take a look at whether or not, if I'm just being cynical, and if they already made up their mind, and they're already, like, weighing in on their ideological uh, basis, or do we really have just a kind of a series of coincidences and that when the chips are down, they are going to perform their job as they should as Supreme Court justices that are above the political fray and are ruling on issues of law, not on issues of ideology. There we have it. Today's deck, we're using Mystic Mondays by Grace Duong. Lovely deck. I love it. I have to use bright decks like this when I'm having a bad day. 
looking at these cards. Because sometimes the energy is just a little heavy. And I like the brightness. So, the first card in this reading, just doing a regular Celtic cross. And that is the Three of Wands. And this is uh, Jupiter Energy. It's about expansion. It's about adventures and uh, new opportunities. So it's a very kind of positive, looking forward kind of card. Not sure if how comfortable I feel about this kind of level of excitement around new opportunities and adventures when it comes to this particular gang, but let's carry on. And this card is crossed by, we have the Five of Swords in a reverse position. This is a card that is about reconciliation and truce in peace. So kind of, I'm kind of getting a sense right now that, that the central part of this reading, the energy around it, is really about the lack of trust between the Supreme Court and the American people. That that's what it's coming down to. And that there is, in this very kind of hopeful note, is that yes, the court has certainly expanded its role and whether or not the American people can be reconciled to that or at peace with how this is going down. Now, in the past position, we have the Seven of Wands and it's in a reverse position. Seven of Wands, when it's reversed, this is, you know, you're finding, you're being resolute in your decision, but you're just exhausted and the effort that you're putting into it is overwhelming. It's just one thing after another. And I'm telling you, these justices are extremely, extremely surprised. Like, almost where the hell did that come from? Uh, but the criticism that they've had to take. They have relied on and they have an expectation that they are above scrutiny. They are above... Um, reproach in everything and so people coming up and saying hey hey what are you doing here um is throwing them off they have really no idea and it's overwhelmed them and they finding it exhausting <clears throat> in the future position we have the queen of pentacles and she's in a reverse position and the queen of pentacles when she's reversed this is like very ungrounded energy uh, it's very disorganized it's focusing on materialism and greed we have reason to believe that that is very much uh an important point for some of the justices the whole idea of the, the good material life the one that you know announces that you're somebody to be recognized in the sky of the reading which is the overarching energy, kind of the goals, the crown of the reading, if you will. We have the Three of Pentacles. And this is a card that is about collaboration. It's about people coming together, um, team teamwork, you know, and putting in a consistent effort in order to achieve a particular goal. At one point in time, that goal would have been to be seen as nonpartisan, and delivering justice in that kind of an apolitical way. Right now, I think the goal has changed, but I'm not sure that they're consciously aware of the fact of how much has changed. I think they're still saying, oh yes, we're just ruling on the law, no, oh, yes, you know, settled law and, and all the rest of the cockamamie nonsense that they have put out of late, but I don't think they're recognizing the fact that Ain't nobody but them believes this. Now, in the foundation of the reading, under what's underlying it here, what the kind of the energy that holds it all up, we have the Three of Swords. And of course, this is a card that's about heartbreak and sorrow. It's about depression. And it really, to me, this symbolizes the, the crux of the problem here. Three of Swords is a card that symbolizes a deep emotional wound that occurs when trust is broken in a relationship. 
And this is really the foundation of what we're talking about. The American people have reasons to not trust the court. Now, message from spirit. We have the sun card and it's in a reverse position. This is a card that's very pessimistic, right? And it, there's some sadness, like depression, melancholy that's around it. And it really points to the conceit that the justices are involved with. Now, what comes to mind, of course, are the, like the four conservative justices that I talked about, you know, Roberts, Gossage, Alito, and Thomas, and Brent Kavanaugh, I have no idea why that man's there, right? His behavior during his Senate confirmation hearings was enough to have him to tossed out, as far as I'm concerned. Like, the man doesn't know how to behave in public, and he's going to be sitting on the highest court in the land. Hell, low for going. He should have been thrown out of his confirmation hearing. He was just so rude. In the environment, we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is a card that is about practice and skill and discipline and mastery of something. And it just, you know, kind of brings home to the fact that the nine justices ain't the only lawyers in Washington, D.C. Places lousy with them, including members of Congress that are lawyers, that are, once again, a lot of lawyers are really offended, like personally. This is not just an intellectual exercise, but they are personally offended by some of the actions and the lack of ethics and the the, just the conceitedness, again, that conceit that came with the Sun Reverse card um, at their attitude about how nobody can question them and they are above reproach and they're beyond questions. So there's people like Senator, is it Sheldon Whitehorse? Anyways, I've got a link uh, attached to one of the things. He's on it. He's with the Senate Judiciary Committee, I believe. And he is looking and I think is going to be pushing for some ethics investigations um, of the Supreme Court. And he's making those arguments. So it's not going to happen in this congressional um, period. But I don't think this is going to be forgotten either. There are other lawyers, people who love the law who are willing to defend the law, who are willing to take them on. And hopes and fears. And like most hopes and fears card, it's both. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving of the knights. And like I said, don't expect anything to happen this Congress because it's not going to. The slowest moving of the knights. He just kind of plods along. He puts one foot in front of the other. Works very hard, very steady but very methodical, very productive, very grounded, and very dependable. People like Senator Whitehorse and um, other people that think along those lines, they are not going to drop this. It is going to continue on. Final outcome on this uh, reading, we have the Ace of Pentacles. And this, is, of course, is a card that about beginnings. All aces are about beginnings. It's the seed of something coming. What's it the seed of? It's a seed of prosperity, which doesn't necessarily mean money um, in manifesting what you want. So it's taking the theoretical that you want and translating it into the real. And it is a sense of abundance. So I really think right now the Supreme Court is in an absolute low spot, but it doesn't it's not hopeless to me. It really isn't. And our shadow card, we have the Seven of Cups, and it's in a reverse position. Seven of Cups, when it's reversed, this is a card that, again, about being overwhelmed. And we've seen this uh, elsewhere in the reading, this whole idea of being completely overwhelmed. Uh, we had the Seven of Wands in the reverse position. 
This, of course, is a card that's associated with the number seven. Just that whole idea of thing more than I'm expecting, and I can't kind of um, work my way through it because you kind of cut off guard with it. And seven of cups, of course, this is the card of illusion and delusion, and when it's reversed, it does indicate that there can be a breakthrough where you find clarity as the fantasy subsides which I think there, what I think is happening is there's about to be a reality check cash for the Supreme Court now what that's going to turn out to whether it's going to be ethics violations or investigations or that sort of stuff where there'll be structural changes to the Supreme Court where they're like they expand the number of people in the court whether somebody is going to have to resign or step down this all remains to be seen at particular point in time but I just really caution I is the fix in I don't think so I really don't think so and the reason I don't think it's not the actions but the intention I think that we've got people here who think they're entitled to these perks based on their position and that they really fundamentally believe that these rules don't that they're above them right like my position and who I am exempts me from these considerations and you know how dare the peons point their fingers and ask questions that can be something that you know blows up in your face pretty damn quick um, but they're they're not thinking of their actions as being corrupt because in their minds they don't have corrupt intentions but regardless of what the, you know flim flammy shady af shenanigans that they have put on for quite some time now they're not looking at it as being something shameful or something that they need to hide they're just they're above this and their intention is pure so you know what the hell do you people want and I noticed in the reading we have three number three cards um, we started off with the three of wands in the signifier position we have got the three of pentacles in the sky position and we had the three of swords in the foundation of the reading three times three you know we have this notion of teamwork coming together the threes really are talking about you know you had two and you've added someone else and that is this team of people coming together to support each other it is not as strong as energy as you would have obviously if you had four threes so we have this teamwork that's coming together and there will be some success but it's going to be slower and that's kind of my I think there's big changes coming for the Supreme Court but it ain't going to happen in this term it is going to be the next because uh, they end in June their term and they won't be starting up again till the fall so that's my thing it's kind of a bit of a mixed bag yeah I think they're doing stuff that is shady but they don't think of it as shady like they really there's this disconnect between the analysis of action and their notion of intent and who they are and that is always a very difficult position to broach because you know we're talking about deep deep psychological notions and everybody wants to be the hero of their own story and everybody wants to be the good guy in the story and so accepting that you have done something wrong for men in these positions yeah <laughs> I'm not holding my breath what can I tell you so anyways that is the reading for today if you like this kind of content by all means give us a like and uh, subscribe and I love to hear people's comments you know it really makes my day so if you have a comment if you think I'm out to lunch on this or you think I've hit the money or somewhere in between drop a comment in the uh, comment section below 
And I will also include a link to a YouTube video from Senator Whitehorse and that I found very interesting when I was looking at it. So anyways, that's the reading for today and I'll talk to you later. Bye bye for now.